knob here is missing when the guitar is plugged in when the dial goes to 10 the sound cuts out and then this toggle switch also when it's in this position the sound also cuts out so I've tried to clean it up the best I can and I'm going to send it off to a guitar tech to have the insides fixed so I don't know if you can see the serial number it's very faded out, but another interesting aspect is in the case, this serial number here and the one on the guitar don't match, which is interesting. I uh, work here in Manhattan Guitar Center, fucking head guitar came in. Needed a lock done to it. They had a whole new uh, bone nut for it because the slots in the other one were so, you know, the slots were just so cut down from overuse. Same with the saddles on the bridge here were just so cut down. It would actually break the string every time you put a new string on. It would, it would sort of jagged and worn away. It would break the string. Plenty of cleaning, cleaning was done, you know. Plays great again. So the nut had to be replaced. These two knobs had to be replaced. Uh, this one was missing. Uh, when this switch was in this position, the volume would go out sometimes. And when this knob was at 10, the volume would go out sometimes. So the internals had to be tweaked a little bit. And then uh, this saddle and this saddle had to be replaced. So here are all the parts that needed to be replaced. We have the guitar strings, the knob, the nut and over here are the two saddles that were very worn down. Now that the guitar has been cleaned up and fixed, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, if I could have any tour guitar from any guitarist, I would want a buckethead guitar, so I'm really fortunate to have it. So my bid was in the very low five figures. Um, to avoid a tie, I decided to end my bid in five, $513, which is, you know, like Buckethead's birthday. Uh, I got an email from Buckethead Pike stating that I didn't win the auction, but they had an extra heavily used tour guitar. Buckethead used this guitar on tour. And if I wanted it, I could get it for the same amount that I bid on the other guitar. And this is like winning the lottery because I think this tour guitar is much better than the guitar that they offered on their website. So I immediately emailed them back. Yes, I want the guitar. How much do I need to pay for shipping? Uh, you know, how do you want to be paid? Just give me the guitar. So I was really, really excited about it. So the guitar and the case were not signed. Um, I learned from some outside sources that the guitar was stored in another state and Buckethead lives in a different state, so signing it was not possible. Uh, it would have been nice for them to tell me that ahead of time, as it would have been nice uh, for Buckethead Pikes to tell me 
you know, what years it was uh, used, but fortunately, uh, Natternet and I figured out that it was used extensively during the 2017-2018 tour. The missing knob was actually a blessing in disguise, because if this knob weren't missing, finding out when this was used on tour would have been much, much more challenging. I mean, there are some chips that are recognizable, and uh, but the missing knob is, you know, the, the the thing that you should key off when you're looking at videos. Uh, so thanks uh, for Natternet for helping out, you know, finding out what years it was on tour, and also thanks go out to Natternet for suggesting the video and making really really great bucketed videos. I also want to thank Corey DeBenego for fixing the guitar. He did a great great job, answered all my questions, and I'd also like to thank uh, Josh Schlunk and Scott Norris for answering my guitar questions and answering like playing questions about how to play certain parts of Buckethead songs. And I'd also like to thank uh, the shipping department in Buckethead Pikes because they have a tough job shipping all kinds of items and things out. Uh, they did a really good job making sure the guitar got to me safely and so thanks. You have a very difficult job so thanks for getting it to me in one piece. So if Buckethead happens to be watching this video, there are three things I'd like to say. First of all, happy birthday. May 13th is coming up, and I hope you have a great Friday the 13th. The second thing I'd like to say is thanks a lot for this guitar. This guitar is awesome. If there were any guitar I could have on the planet, it would be this one. Uh, there are 40 songs that you've written that I'm currently trying to learn, and I'm having a lot of fun, you know, playing these songs or trying to play the songs. And the final thing I'd like to say is uh, thanks for setting the bar so high for other guitar players and basically you're playing in the studio, you're live playing and your composition skills are second to none. The fact that you have written over 300 albums and you're still producing high quality albums with great songs is just amazing. It shows that you're, you know, working hard non-stop and I think it's great that you every few months sell your discography for, you know, $200. It keeps your music affordable so that, you know, everyone can buy the discography if they want to. And then finally, I'd like to say that uh, I think it's really cool that you hand out gifts during your concert and you let people play the kill switch. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I think that shows that you care a lot about the fans. And I think it's very impressive and just classy. So I played guitar from about age eight until age 10, then stopped completely. And I stored my guitar at my parents' home. In 2020, I was on YouTube and I saw a video suggested of Buckethead. So I started watching it. And the more I watched Buckethead, the more I liked him playing. After a while, in the middle of 2021, I was pretty inspired by his playing. So I decided I wanted to start playing guitar again. So I called up my parents, had them ship me my guitar and I started practicing every day. So when I play, I'm an absolute beginner, uh, but I have a lot of fun playing, and it's really fun trying to play songs written by Buckethead. Now, as the two legends Michael Jordan and Bootsy Collins once said, hard work, determination, I've got to keep pushing myself. So it's time to practice and have some fun. <laughs> Thank you.